Hey everybody, I am here in not so sunny UK with McLaren and I'm here to drive the latest in the ultimate series of cars, the Senna. I'm at Silverstone and we're gonna take it for a few laps and find out just how race focused this thing is. Okay, before I hop in the car for some breathless laps, let's do a quick refresher on the McLaren's range topper. At the heart of this ultra lightweight carbon fiber package is a bi-turbocharged four liter V8 making 789 horsepower and 590 pound-feet of torque, driving the rear wheels via a seven speed dual clutch transmission. Yes, all of that power and carbon means the car is quick, 2.7 seconds to 60 miles per hour and fast, a top speed of 211 miles per hour. But both of those are kind of the boring stats. For a track car, it's all about cornering, braking, and grip. Consider that the Senna pulls almost twice the G-forces of the McLaren P1 during braking. Here at Silverstone, it will be going almost 10 miles per hour faster at the end of hangar straight, and it can brake to a standstill from 124 miles per hour in just under 330 feet. Perhaps most impressively for me, it'll let a six foot five giant wearing racing overalls and a helmet fit behind the wheel. Guys, I am about to get on the Silverstone circuit in what is undoubtedly one of the fastest hardest quartering cars I've ever driven in my entire life. The thing about this car that's spectacular isn't, honestly, the 789 horsepower. And I know that sounds ridiculous, but ultimately it's the ability of this car to stick in the corners, really grip and go, that's second level. And this is true of a lot of McLaren products, but it's very amped up here, is the fact that I can just feel everything that's happening under the tires. The feedback is, is ultra high. And even for a guy like me, it helps me uh, quicken up a few of these corners. Now remember, this is still what McLaren calls a validation prototype, which means it's a car that's close to being finalized, but isn't exactly the same as the customer cars that will eventually come out of the gate. Especially coming out of the back straight with a ton of speed, these carbon ceramic brake discs are probably the most impressive piece of the entire package. They're so much stronger than a car, even like the 720, that it kind of takes your breath away. As good as this center prototype is around Silverstone, there could still be some changes between this car and the final production version. The great news is that I should get at least one more chance to drive this very special car.